Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Well, what a day it's been. This morning, we had a live presser by uh, Shohei Otani and his new interpreter, Will Ayrton, um, trying to explain what went on with the Ipe Mizuhara gambling scandal. Anyways, within hours, Bob Whiting on his Substack, Robert Whiting's Japan, robertwhiting.substack.com, came out with this article that I'm going to read shortly. It's called Bob's Bullets. Otani's explanation on Mizuhara's betting scandal lacked clarity. And I just wanted to point out before I get started, what's behind me? Well, that's a scene from MASH with Colonel Henry Blake and also Walter Radar O'Reilly. Uh, it's relevant to this story. If you recall, it was always Radar who was um, getting Colonel Blake's signature. Um, I think one of his lines was, Why did you have me sign this while I was signing all those other things I was signing too? Which I didn't know why I was signing them either. Maybe you'll get the inside joke after I read this. Let me get started. Tokyo. Shohei Otani addressed the media today with a brief statement. His new interpreter, Will Ayrton, translated his remarks into English. Ipe Mizuhara has been stealing money from my account and has been telling lies, Otani said. I never bet on sports or have willfully sent money to the bookmaker. I never bet on baseball or any other sports and have never asked somebody to do it on my behalf, he stressed. And I've never gone through a bookmaker to bet on sports and was never asked to assist betting payment for anyone else. His appearance was big news in Japan, of course. It was carried live on NHK, Japan's leading nationwide TV network, and was headline news on all the digital news websites, including the Yomiri Shimbun, the world's largest daily newspaper. It's uh, yomiri.co.jp. Anyways, Otani said he first became aware of Mizuhara's gambling problem during a team meeting after last Wednesday's season-opening victory over San Diego in Seoul, South Korea. So up until that team meeting, I didn't know that Ipe had a gambling addiction and was in debt, he explained. Obviously, I never agreed to pay for the debt or make payments to the bookmaker. And finally, when we went back to the hotel, that was when I found out that he had a massive debt and it was revealed to me during the meeting that Ipe admitted that he was sending money using my account to the bookmaker. At that moment, it was an absurd thing that was happening, and I contacted my representatives at that point. Otani said that on the advice of his lawyers, he would not be taking any questions. <laughs> that was a pity because there were so many very, very big questions everyone wanted answers to. Questions like, how did Mizuhara get so much money? millions out of Otani's account. Did he have power of attorney or did he steal Otani's password for a digital transfer? And how did the original story about, quote, helping out a friend come to pass? Otani's 12-minute appearance was not a swing and a miss, but it was more like a foul ball than a home run. We're supposed to believe that the interpreter wired vast sums of money from Otani's account to a bookie without Shohei's knowledge and that the bank did not raise any red flags? And Otani's accountants did not notice what was going on? It doesn't add up. It's a sad ending for Mizuhara, whose past has also come into question. As The Athletic reported, he did not attend UC Riverside in college, as his old Angels bio said, nor did he work for the Red Sox, as previous media reports stated. However, he joined a lot of other notable people who have inflated their resumes. Former Japanese Foreign Minister Makiko Tanaka for once lied about a U.S. college degree she never had. Yahoo CEO Scott Thompson falsely claimed he had a degree in computer science. But in Mizuhara's defense, he did have a stellar career as an interpreter for Nippon Ham. A lot of Gaijin players swore by him. Michelle Abreu, who played for the Fighters in 2013 when Mizuhara was team interpreter, sung his praises in a recent interview on Japanese television, saying that Mizuhara was, quote, the kind of guy who would get up in the middle of the night to help you. That is what most baseball interpreters have to do. It's a tough and demanding job. 
It's too bad Mizuhara has ruined his life. After getting out of prison, he'll be serving hamburgers at some fast food joint. Or perhaps get a position with a Southern California branch of the Yamaguchi Gumi. That's a Yakuza group, by the way. On another subject, I saw a survey recently that named the top 10 TV shows in Japan last year, including all categories, news, drama, variety, etc. Seven of them were telecasts of WBC games involving Team Samurai Japan. Ten of the top 10 in the USA were NFL newscasts or telecasts. There was not even one baseball telecast in the top 100. And that is the end of Robert Whiting's Bob's Bullets. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will put the links below in the description. So please check it out. There's also, yes, uh, there is a paywall, but there's also a free seven day trial. So you can um, take a look at Bob's articles. And also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. There are also previous ones in the past three, three days um, of Robert Whiting's comments on this situation. So stay tuned and have a great day.